Welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong 94 Episode 6. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. And check it out, we're actually in the fucking sky! This whole stage, all these, this world actually, introduces some new gameplay elements that try to trip you up. And it's probably gonna work, so let's get started. So the first thing they really throw our way is wind. Because we're on an airplane, we're in the sky, we are constantly getting bombarded with, well, G-Force, or whatever that is. They're also introducing these, uh, turrets that are certainly a pain in my ass. It'd be a bigger pain if I was trying to go for all the items, but frankly, I don't want to do that. So we'll just take your key, drop down, and end of that level. The stage isn't exactly difficult, but it's certainly tricky. They trick you up on a lot of places, let me tell you. For example, now they're introducing multiple doors, so you have to remember which one was the door. That initial switch is useless to start out with. We need to find another switch that will lower that gate, which is over here. And once we do that, we can pull this switch it up over here. And you know what? We'll go with it. the umbrella, purse, and... I think, uh, yeah, there's the hat right there. I don't know if we're gonna be getting that, though. Oh, well. So we'll take the key, head on down, throw that down. Down here. Pull that switch. And quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, okay. Bam. And now we just bring it over here. Like, I, I think they think that by the time- Oh, shit. That was an oversight on my end. So sorry for that embarrassment. Okay, let's get it down for real. What I was trying to say is that I think the game expects you to maybe go to that door up top and realizing, oh wait, why doesn't it work? You gotta pay attention realize that that's the door that DK went through. They're gonna be doing this several times in this stage. Like in this one. This wasn't isn't exactly difficult either, it's very symmetrical. Absolutely. Ah, shit. Hang on. Gotta get up there. Gotta... Oh, no, this is really... this is kind of hard to do. Like, I keep trying to give myself the excuse. It's way harder to do this on my shitty third-party gamepad than it was for me to do on my beautifully designed Nintendo 3DS D-pad. Feels a whole lot better. But hey, at least you got the key and now I think you can just kind of drop down, except, you know, that happens. So maybe don't drop down. Oh, jeez. Out of my fucking way! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Got it. Damn! That's pretty tough. But again, I blame this shitty D-pad, so it's not always my fault. But on to the DK stage. The first one of two. This one is just a DK stage with a bunch of wind and turrets. Drop down here. Pull the switch either way to get this one going. Let's see if we can have good timing on this one. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Hey, we got it! Alright! Wow, that was... That was amazingly good timing. A great... Great luck there. <laughs> if I would have timed that any differently, I would have been dead on the spot. We'll finish this little section with 77 lives. Alright. So now they're going to start throwing more of these turrets your way, and, well, they're going to be a pain in the ass. And then time stops, because I guess that happens sometimes. Moving on. Alright, on the wing here, we've got a level that really gets on my nerves. These things... Constantly change direction and constant and will constantly fire. And the key is at the very top of the stage. So the further up you go, the more at risk you are for getting shot by these things. So you need to constantly be careful. And you gotta make your way back down. And if you have the key, it's looking might look good for you if you have the key. Because that means that you can have an extra hit. And we'll go ahead and grab all three items too, because why not? Get a few extra lives here. Look how many lives we have, that's ridiculous. I mean, we're about two-thirds done with the game, and we've got, like, more than... We've got more than 75 lives, it's crazy. 
Let's see if we can get any more with the slot machine. Let's see. Uh, hook, hook, hook. Ah. Uh, oh well. Not like we need him, right? Now this stage is. That's not even on the airplane, it's just in the sky. This is not an airplane, then. I don't know why I went down there, but, uh, because I thought there was a platform there, but the idea is that they want you to climb this ladder, and then, ah! Ideally make the timing right. But because the wind's blowing, I need to get this extra jump, and then onto that. Alright. Alright, good. And get on this sideways wire. Go full power. Off we go. There we go. We can take our key. Oh, wow. This is like just barely. Just barely make it. Alright, and there we go. Not that difficult, not that difficult. I mean, at this point in the game, you should pretty much know what to expect. Man, I don't want the slot machine, because I always suck at them. Except for that time, that was actually pretty good. Would've been cool if I got free Mario's, though. <laughs> anyway, next stage! This stage is certainly... <laughs> this is probably the trickiest in the entire level. The entire world. World, stage, every game's different. One thing to remember is that this is the door DK went in. So then you grab your key, and here's where the fun begins. And what you do is you throw it, and then you hit the switch at the- OH GOD! And there's also turrets shooting bullets to mess you up, and that's what makes it extra, extra, extra tricky! So let's try that again. Making our way up. Making our way up. Making our way up. I feel like that turret was just added just to hinder the player, just to really piss him off. Okay, so hit the switch, and then when it drops back, then drop down, and the key will come to you. Pick it up again, wait for the turret to go through his thing, I think we'll be safe, so throw it again. Hit the switch, drop, hit it again, down, and... There you go. This one I think is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna wait for this turret to shoot his bullet. Ah! That was not good. Okay, get up, get up, get up, come on. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go that again. Alright. So. Drop the ladder. Drop the key. I mean, fuck! Ah! God damn it! Ugh. Come on. Alright, we're back. Let's try this again, and correctly. Ah, that was not correctly. This little motherfucker. Alright. So, ladder, go. And boom. Key, drop down. And bring it back. That's how you fucking do it. Bam! But that wasn't... Well, that, that's not the door, though, is it? No, we gotta go even further. Hit the switch again. Take the key, throw it, duck down underneath it, grab the key, whoa. Don't do that, grab the key again. Bring it up to this third door right here. Make sure not to fling it up one more, because if you do, you have to do the whole puzzle over again. Nobody wants that shit. Gee, that was annoying as fuck. And now for an easy DK stage. Wind's blowing, but that doesn't seem to affect DK too much, because the second he throws one barrel, it's stopped, so I can just go ahead and throw that one to him. And he's got another one lined up, so then I can just, well, go ahead and throw that one too. Yep, come on, come on, come on. So then I can pick up this third one again. And then, bam. Very easy. If, if maybe those two barrels didn't stop on the first fucking throw, then maybe it would have been, been a little bit harder. But say, that's the airplane for you. That's the end of the stage. So what's next? Well, an iceberg, obviously. We're gonna be dealing with ice and all that shit. Oh, man. Well, thanks for sticking around for this little quickie episode of Donkey Kong 94, and we will see you next time. Oh, yeah!